Hello guys, welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed the channel, please subscribe the channel. Today's topic is about impact testing acceptance criteria as per ASME section 8 division 1. Impact testing is required either for base metals or for procedure qualification. Impact testing for base metal is given in UCS 66 and for procedure qualification is given in UCS 67 of ASME section 8 division 1. The acceptance criteria for impact test is given in UG 84 C6 of ASME section 8 division 1. In accordance with UG 84 C6, a retest is required when the toughness value of three specimens greater than or equal to the minimum value permitted for a single specimen and the toughness value for more than one specimen is below the required average value or the toughness value of one specimen is below the minimum value permitted for a single specimen. A retest is required for additional three test coupon and the and the toughness value of the three test coupon shall be greater than or equal to the required average value. That means for retesting, the acceptance criteria will become more stringent. This is what the court tells us. It is quite confusing and complicated. In order to make it simpler, we have to look into two terms. The first term is the minimum value permitted and the second is the required average value. In order to obtain these details, we have to move into figure UG 84.1, which gives the relationship among the average toughness value in the y-axis and the maximum nominal thickness in the x-axis with minimum yield specified yield strength. For example, we have a pressure vessel that is fabricated by using SA516 grade 70 material of thickness 50 mm. In order to obtain the average toughness value in joules, we have to draw a perpendicular line from 50 mm till it touches the minimum specified yield strength and right from there draw a perpendicular line till it touches the y-axis that is the average toughness value. Here, we will get an average toughness value of 20 joule for our 50 mm thick SA516 grade 70 material. Here, the average value is 20 joule in accordance with the graph UG 84.1 and the minimum value permitted is 2 by 3rd of average value which is equal to 2 by 3rd of 20 that is 13.3 joules. So our average value is 20 joule and the minimum value permitted is 13.3 joule. These are the two important terms that we have to look. The definition state that, the acceptance criteria state that the average toughness value of three specimens greater than or equal to the minimum value permitted for a single specimen. That is the minimum value permitted for a single specimen which is obtained from graph UG 84.1 is 13.3 joule. 13.3 joule and the toughness value for more than one specimen is below the required average value. What is the required average value? The required average value is given in UG 84.1 which is 20 joule for our SA516 grade 70 20, 50 mm thick plate. So our average toughness value is 20 joule and the minimum permitted value is 13.3 joule. Let's look into some examples. For example, we have three toughness values 26 joule, 24 joule and 15 joule can we accept these values or do we have to perform a retest? In order to, in accordance with the UG 84C6, a retest is required when the average toughness value of three specimens greater than or equal to the minimum value per meter for a single specimen. Here, 
the average of three specimen is 21.6 joule that is 26 joule plus 24 joule plus 15 joule divided by 3 we will get 21.6 joule which is greater than the minimum value permitted for a single specimen that is 13.3 joule from the graph UG84.1 for 50 mm thick SA516 grade 70 material, we will get the average value 20 and the minimum specified value is 2 by 3 of 20 which is equal to 13.3 joule. In our case, the average of 3 specimen greater than the minimum value permitted for a single specimen that is 13.3 joule. And the second statement is the toughness value for more than one specimen is below the required average value it's toughness value for more than one specimen in our case the toughness value of a single specimen that is 15 joule is only less than the required average value that is 20 joule so these values are acceptable and we don't have to perform any retest in the second example, we have three values, 26 joule, 24 joule, and 12 joules. The average value of three specimen is 20.6 joule. That is 26 joule plus 24 joule plus 12 joule. The whole divided by three, which is equal to 20.6 joule. And the minimum value per meter is 13.3 joule. That is the minimum value per meter is two by third of 20, which is equal to 13.3 joule. In accordance with the first statement, the average value of three specimen which is greater than or equal to which, which is greater than or equal to the minimum value permitted for a single specimen and the toughness value for more than one specimen is below the required average value or the toughness value of one specimen is below the minimum value permitted for a single specimen. In our case, the toughness value of a single specimen that is 12 joule is less than the minimum value per meter that is 13.3 joule here 12 joule is less than minimum value per meter that is 13.3 joule so these values are not acceptable and we have to perform a retest in retest the toughness value of each specimen shall be greater than or equal to the average value which is equal to the required average which shall be greater than or equal to the required average value in our case 20 joule that means in our retest the all impact value shall be greater than the required average value that is equal to the 20 joule this is what the court state hope you guys understood this lesson if you have any doubts please mention in the comment section please subscribe the channel for more videos thank you